Hi everyone, it's Dr. Shannon Rosney from Thrive Wellness Center. I wanted to talk to you today about healthier versions of cleaning products. So we know that the traditionally made and traditionally marketed cleaning products that most of us are familiar with, things like Clorox and Lysol, are really full of chemicals. Uh, the purpose of those uh, obviously is to kill bugs, kill germs and microbes, but the problem with those chemicals is that they also are not so great for us. So they'll actually kill microbes in your body uh, and they have a lot of uh, toxic effects like they can be irritating to the lungs and sinuses, to the skin, uh, and they also typically include fragrances and other things that are in the category of endocrine disruptors. So we want to avoid those as much as possible in our household, especially on any surfaces that you eat, especially on anywhere that a child or an animal might be coming in contact with. So if you have a, a small child or an animal that's walking around on the floor, you don't want that floor covered in some toxic chemical. So the things we recommend to replace those traditional cleaning products um, are pretty simple. I do recommend using a website like ewg.org and that will give you ratings on the different toxicity levels of different chemicals. So if you had a product that you think is pretty good, like, oh, I really like seventh generation laundry detergent, then you can look it up on there and it'll tell you if there's any risk, uh, any of the chemicals in there that might be something to be concerned about and also other options that would be healthier alternatives. So the other thing is, of course, dish soap, um, dishwasher soap, things like that. I always recommend getting the ones that aren't scented or if they are scented in any way, then essential oils, right? So like a lemon, like we have a, a dish soap made by Tiani and it's a bar, so it does have some scent in it, but it's essential oil scent. It's not gonna be uh, artificial chemicals or fragrances. That works really great, by the way. I've been using it, I love it. I love it better than any other dish soap I've ever used. So we have that here in the office now. The other thing you can do is you can make your own cleaning products using essential oils and then all other things like white vinegar, um, is really good for that. So you can just use vinegar and water, but then you have to add something to it so it smells kind of nice. So we like to recommend doing that with essential oils, whatever you like. Citrus is kind of um, typical, but in the in flu and cold season, then we usually add in some thieves oil. So thieves is very good at killing um, microbes on all surfaces. So those are some of our favorite things to do as far as actually sanitizing and cleaning the home. Uh, you can also, of course, use uh, essential oils to purify the air. You can use it to refresh fabric. You can use it to refresh carpet. You can use it as a room spray or a, a bedroom spray to kind of as a calming way to put that on your sheets. So uh, essential oils can also go on the wool dryer balls in place of fabric softener or dryer sheets. So these are all of some of our favorite things to make your household smell amazing, but also keep you guys from getting too many chemicals uh, and too much exposure to the nasty stuff. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any comments or questions, please comment below.